It is the tea brew of the great willows, virgin boughs, and consumed by our warriors. It grants certain strengths by the Hungarian, but for every physical boon it gives, it robs a piece of the mind. It must never be made. Did you drink it? Never. But I think what happens to those who do. You are the son of a man of violence. It would affect you far more than anyone else. It will not allow you to drink it. Thank the maker we are not too late. You intend to brew tea of the Great Willow? Have you forgotten the consequence of drinking it? I have not. No, Ganadio. But when our people face a threat like the Mad King, there are no other paths. No other paths? We can fight them as human beings! My son and I have had success, just the two of us. Imagine the strength of our whole village. And how many of these fearless blue coats have you brought down at a time? Two? Five? Ten? Thousands will come to destroy us. Thousands that you awoke. Our people's survival depends on the strength of the Great Willow. You are as mad as the king. Do what you will, but my son will not drink the tea. Then like you, he will die. My father left those for me. He was part of an order. A secret brotherhood. I know who my father was. And I know what those are. You do? They will certainly help. How do you know all this? I cannot explain. Everything is all wrong here. All of this should not be. You should not be. I watched you. General Putnam, General Arnold, I sometimes despair of our project. I question my abilities and my strength. But with you two at my side, I believe we will bring liberty to this country. We will bring it with fists of iron. And I have assurance of your loyalty. You have my solemn pledge. And mine. Thank you. Honorable gentlemen, this country will remember you. Give no quarter to the savages! You will not succeed here. <laughs> you? You survived. How astonishing. This time I'll make certain of your death. We're fighting the force of liberty.
With my power, I will rule over a free world. Get out of here. For good measure. Ah! 